the Schmo with the Pro with Meta World Peace, formerly known as Juan Artest, one of the most entertaining NBA players of all time in the golf cart. We're here at the Pelican Hill, man. Mm -hmm. We're here for a great cause, Boxing Wags Association. How we doing? Everything is great, man. How you doing? The Schmo can't complain. It's a beautiful day for golf, man, and for a great cause. That's great, yeah, for a great cause. You know, I'm Matt Bonds, Deontay Wilder, you know, so it's really good to be here. We're great to have you here. Why are you going to win this competition? Well, I'm not taking it that serious to win, um, so, but I'm going to have a good time. But from your golf swing, man, you're looking pretty good out there. Yeah, but, you know, just have a good time. Well, it's always a great time with you here. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But, yeah, it's going to be good. Just get some, get some good hits, and that's going to be good. Certainly, man. Now, do the Lakers win an NBA championship again with LeBron James on the roster? Um, uh, I think so. He's really good. I think he's still top uh, 12 you know, in the NBA, so he, yeah, they could have a chance. As someone who's got a great punch, man, who do you think's the toughest guy in the NBA right now who's an active player? I'm not sure. I'm not necessarily thinking about tough guys. I mostly do, like, digital marketing and technology and entrepreneurship these days. Who do you think's the best entrepreneur off the court that's an active NBA player? I think you got a lot of them. You know, I think you got, like, uh, obviously Shaq, Magic. Then you have, um, who else, uh, Durant, Curry, uh, LeBron, <laughs> obviously, you know, so I mean, a lot, a lot of great entrepreneurs. Certainly. What do you make of now CP3 going to Golden State Warriors? He's now with Stephen Clay in the backcourt, three Hall of Famers. I think it's great. You know, uh, he has a shot. I think Stephen Curry is at the peak of his prime. So being at the peak of your prime, you're still good enough to get it done. So he, he, he might be over the peak, but at the peak, right? So from that perspective, he can still carry a team adding CP, CP's maybe over his prime, but still really, really good, you know, so he can add a lot of value to that team. Does CP3 retire without getting an NBA ring? Uh, it, it's hard to say, you know, um, no matter what happens, great player, you know, obviously you want a ring. I got lucky enough to play with Kobe. I, I, I feel really good about that, but you know, you just can't, you don't always get that lucky to get one, so, but if he does, it will be well-deserved, and I'm really happy he's still playing and keeping his body in shape to give himself opportunity. The Schmo met you after you were drafted by the Schmo Chicago Bulls, man. That's where you started your career, the Windy City, man. You wish you could have played there long term, or are you happy things ended up the way they did? Um, I think, yeah, I love Chicago. Uh, great great experience in Chicago. Uh, yeah, and, and Michael Jordan played there, so. Is he the GOAT? Yeah, uh, I mean, he has argument. Um, with stats, he has argument. LeBron has the argument of being number one score of all time and number one in a lot of things. Kobe has the argument of winning uh, championships without two, two top two championships without any top 75 players. And then Michael has the argument winning six championships, also nine scoring titles. So it's really difficult. Really difficult. Bradley Beal, he's now a Phoenix Suns with Durant and the book. You like that trio? Uh, I don't really know too much about what's going on from that perspective. I just know a little bit. But I know who Bradley Bill is. I know that he's a hell of a player. I know that he changes teams. But in terms of what he's bringing to his new team, I haven't dug that much into um, everything that's happening in the NBA. So I don't know everything. Okay, something not in the NBA. We got Nate Diaz and Jake Paul. It's a Wait, boxing um, match. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I, yeah, we'll talk about Nate Diaz and Jake Paul. But uh, actually, I'm really excited about that fight. Um, I think that's a really good fight. I think at this point in time, you know, Jake Paul is good enough to take on a challenge like Nate Diaz. Nate, you know, is a old fighter, and then Jake is also a fighter. So I think this is a great matchup, perfect timing. I think it's, it might be evenly matched, but Jake is a really great counter puncher, which is, that's a big problem for, <laughs> and he can hit, so. 10 rounds, does it end in a knockout? Yeah, well, I'm not sure, hopefully everybody goes away healthy. Thank you for having me on your show. Appreciate you, you're the pro, I'm the schmo, we're out. Good job.